Hey everybody, welcome to homerecordingmadeeasy.com and here on my YouTube channel and in this video I want to show all of my PreSonus Studio One users a cool way to add additional colors to help color code your tracks and give you more color options and you can see it right here on the screen in this toolbar. This, um, this little file, this little script was shared with me uh, by one of my uh, students and members over at mixingmadeeasy.net. If you don't know what mixingmadeeasy.net is, click the links below in the description box and go check it out. It's a mixing membership training website, perfect for beginners and intermediates. You're gonna love it. Click the link in the description box below. However, if you want to get these colors in your session, because it doesn't come standard with Studio One, you wanna add it to Studio One so you have additional color options um, opposed and above and beyond what Studio One already gives you, then this video is for you. But before we get to that, if you like what you see in this video, please consider subscribing, hit the notification bell, also, go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. I want to give you five free mixing training courses. That's five free courses worth about 200 bucks or so. My way of saying thank you for visiting homerecordingmadeeasy.com. And also go check out mixingmadeeasy.net, as I said a second ago. So here we go. So how do you get this color code, these little color uh, icons at the top of your toolbar here? Really simple. I'm going to leave the link in the description box below. You are going to go out to the PreSonus Forum website um, here. This is the PreSonus User Forum. And there is a post here. And again, this link will be in the description box below. You are going to click on right underneath here, this thing called Track color dot package. Okay, we're gonna click on that and that's gonna bring you to a Dropbox link and we're gonna download this direct. Okay, now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna minimize Studio One here and I'm gonna take this file and I'm gonna drag it out to the desktop. Okay, now this is not a file that you can just double click on and open. You actually have to copy this and move it to one of the pre one of the Studio One folders, the scripts folder. Let me show you how to do that. So again, on a PC, this could be a little bit different. I'm using a Mac, but on a PC, we're or on excuse me, on a Mac, we're going to go to the Applications folder. I'm going to go to my Studio One icon. I'm going to right click and say Open Package Contents. We're going to click on the Contents folder. We're going to find the folder called Scripts, and then we are going to take this. And I've already done it here. You're going to copy this and paste it in your scripts file. So this for Rewindow users is somewhere probably on your C drive, but you want to navigate to the scripts file folder, excuse me. You're going to copy that color track colors package file with all the other scripts that are already in there. These are all package files. Here's an additional one. And then when you open up Studio One again, you are going to see this little color icon right next to the little macro toolbar. You're also now going to have this little color toolbar. You open that up and here's your colors and you can see that you can color tracks just like you would before. So if I wanted to color all of my drums here, down here in brown, I'm just gonna highlight them all and I can make them blue and they're gonna change colors. Now what I like about these colors as opposed to the ones that come with Studio One, um, they seem to be a little bit more rich, a little bit more um, vibrant on the screen. They're not as flat and dull looking to my eyes. Now there may be a way to also go in here. I see this little E button or I think you could probably, I'm not sure what the E button does to be honest. I just installed this. Uh, what only color, oh, this will only color code the events. Okay, so if you just want the events colored or do you want the tracks and the events colored? Sometimes you may want your mixer tracks different from your events. I like to keep them all the same, but that's totally up to you. But that's how you do it. Uh, I think you also, if you click here, you can save as default, import a color set. You can import different hex colors. So you can do a bunch of stuff with this. So this is pretty cool if you want some additional colors. I like to keep all my, my drums down here in brown. If I were to just left click in the bottom of the track window, here are the Studio One colors that come with it. And I've never really been happy with their colors. Their colors are always seem to be a little lacking to me. They're not as rich and as vibrant and as dark and they don't give you as many options. So I love this little free script. Um, again, that you can download in the description box below. Make sure you download the file to your desktop, whether your Mac or PC, and then you're gonna copy that folder, that dot package folder into your scripts folder inside of your PreSonus Studio One applications folder. This is how you do it on a Mac. I'm sure a piece very, very similar. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, please like, please subscribe, please share. Go out to Home Recording Made Easy. 
get your five free mixing courses. And oh, by the way, I have a, a coupon code for you as well. If you click in the link in the description box below, you will see a coupon code YouTube 25 that'll allow you to take 25% off any one of my training courses. And I have a ton of studio one training courses. Go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. Leave comments below. Let me know what you think about this. And if you have any other cool uh, scripts or any other cool extensions or things in Studio One that you found on their exchange website that you thought were really cool ab above and beyond the colors, I'd love to know. Leave uh, comments below. Let me know what you think of this and what other cool stuff you have. And until the next video, I've been Dave with HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Take care. <laughs>